What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Light of Mine, the one who lets her light shine no matter who it blinds. And I'm here. I don't know if you guys have seen my last video, but my last video was my story time on how I shot on how I shot my shot and I failed miserably. Okay, it was hella funny though. So if you ain't seen it yet, you need to go check it out. Thank you. Thank you. So Y'all are probably wondering like, why are you in a hotel, girl? Well, I do have a video that's coming out maybe today, maybe tomorrow, whenever it comes out that will explain everything. So you guys, please stay tuned to that as well. I need your advice. Once that video comes out, you'll see what I'm talking about. One of my subscribers, my followers, a really good friend as well, Creme de la Creme, also known as Jasmine, one of the best female hoopers in Houston, you know. She asked me to do a video on my spiritual journey and how to go through that. And to be honest, going through a spiritual journey is not easy especially if you have changed your spiritual outlook and your mindset from what you were raised up in personally i was raised as a christian my mom definitely had my sister and i in church when we were younger and i even continued to go to church throughout high school as well as college up until my sophomore year my sophomore year i met two of the best most genuine most amazing people when i was involved in a network marketing company called world ventures i know a lot of you guys may know about world ventures it's a great company but the company was not the best part about it the, the people were the best part about that company and i was so fortunate enough to uh befriend two people my mentor shelby as well as my brother kyle beautiful people anyway they just opened my eyes to a lot more kyle introduced my best friend and i to uh, numerology and the way that he broke it down it was just so much different from what i had ever thought about numerology he also introduced us to um, Brother Sabir Bay. But I didn't stop there. Next, I want to say we were just doing our own research. To be honest, we stopped going to church. I found out about Caesar Bourgeois and just the Vatican and um, Europeans going into Africa and forcing Africans to um, convert to Christianity to have control over them as well as slave masters with slaves here in the Americas and the Caribbean and everywhere and it just wasn't right to me. So the more I meditated, the more I researched, the more that I found knowledge of self. Now, first of all, I'm not trying to come off as like this woke character or like conscious character because we all know there are some of those in the woke black community that... Um, condemn others just as any other religion would any other person from any other religion would you know they look down at you and all of that stuff and i'm not in the business of that you feel what i'm saying like i respect everyone's beliefs thoughts you know that's like a muslim going to a jew and saying you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong and a jew going to a christian and saying you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong I personally believe that the creator created these laws, universal laws, and passed them down, and people have just renamed them certain things and, you know, made a lot of them ugly. However, the intent is the same, you know, we all want to be good people, we all want to love one another, if you are a, a righteous person. 
and um, I just believe in being righteous and um, I don't honor a specific uh, I won't say I don't honor a specific deity because I do honor the Loa I do honor the Orisha I do honor my ancestors I do honor the supreme creator the supreme being I do honor the universe. I honor the birds and the trees and the skies and the flowers. Yes, I'm that chick. <laughs> you feel me? And it hasn't been easy. It has not been easy. I have certain friends that I'm not friends with anymore because of it. I have family members that my own mom, y'all. Like, I love my mama. Like, that's my mama. Like, you know, but she hates what I believe. She does not agree with it at all, but I'm not living for her, you know? I'm living for me, and I'm, I'm, I'm serving as an inspiration to all other women and men that view the world as I. And even if you don't, I'm still going to be kind and loving and, and nurturing to those that deserve it. I ain't no pushover. I ain't no turn the other cheek if you slap me you feel what I'm saying I'm gonna get even and that's just how I think you know that's what I believe because I feel like my people we done done too much of turning the cheek when we get slapped so yeah I'm not that but um it has been really rough but what I will say is that you have to keep researching you have to keep researching what your spirit drives you to. Don't get an inkling in your mind and you know speak it, voice it to someone who may not understand because they're gonna be like, oh, why you even think about stuff like that? How could you question? Why would you question? So you want me to be sleep? You want me to be completely blind to what's been awarded to me and afforded to me by this universe? You don't want me to learn what my spirit is telling me to learn? You don't want me to dive deeper? Nah, that's not fair. That's not fair. And you will lose people. You will lose close friends. You will lose the respect of your family members. Your family members might even think you crazy. And I ain't gonna lie. I ain't insane. But your girl, I can get thrown off <laughs> if you push me that far. I can get thrown off. I'm working on me. I'm really working on just becoming what I really want at the end of my life. Besides being a great mother, a great wife, great friend, great daughter, great granddaughter, is I want to find everlasting internal peace within myself and to every spirit that my spirit reincarnates or comes back as, if they come back. I also want to be the, one of the best ancestors that my descendants have. Like when they call on me, I want them to know, oh yeah, that's grandma light right there. <laughs> that's mama light right there, that's me, for real, I mean, like I said, my spiritual journey has not been easy, but I've just gotten there by reading, researching, and staying true to myself, not letting other people drive what I do, what I say, what I believe, what I don't believe, because I'm never going to be fit into no type of box, my dude. Like, no matter what my career choice is, yes, I will be that person, but on the other side of that, I will always be me. I will always be me. I will always be me. That's why you love me. So I'm just gonna finish out this video right here and right now. I hope that I answered your question, Jazz. I mean, like I said, my spiritual journey started in Houston when I met Shelby and Kyle and they introduced me to like a lot of just not believing everything that I had been told and forced to believe just because you know what I'm saying for one you know the universe is all-knowing 
the universe provides us with everything, but we also provide us with everything. We are our own gods. We are definitely our own gods. Everything that you intend and put intention into and really just know to be true and work on is going to come into fruition. I script and my scripting is praying and scripting is writing out your intentions, writing out your life exactly the way that you want it as if you already have it. And when I tell you ever since I started scripting, I get everything that I want, baby. I manifest everything that I want, like clockwork, like clockwork. That ain't come from Jesus. I just got a little serious right then, but that just is what it is. And you believe whatever you want to believe. Believe that. Believe that. God did give us the power of free will. So believe whatever you want to believe. Do whatever you want to do. You know, just know that you're going to deal with them consequences. You put out good, you'll get good back. You put out negative and bad and toxic, and you're going to get that back. Like clockwork. Like clockwork. It never fails. You're going to get that. So just keep pushing. Do your research. Meditate. Go within inside yourself. Love yourself. Know that you are worthy. Know that you are loved, you know, by forces that are so much greater than you, forces that you ain't even know exist. Get to know your ancestors. Get to know the people that you come from. Get to know the tribe that you come from. Get to know what you come from. If you were adopted and you don't know and, you know, still go within yourself and you'll, you'll find it you'll find it so with that being said i love you guys thank you to my light bulbs for tuning in to yet another video and if you have any questions comments concerns stories about your spiritual journey comment below please i would love to hear them i just think it's so beautiful when i hear others talking about you know their spirituality and everything like that even if you are a christian or you are a muslim or you are a jew whatever you are his israelite whatever like this is a free zone okay free zone you know i double dabble in some voodoo i double dabble in, you know it's just we open here we open baby so I'm trying to think but that's about it that's all i can think of like comment share and subscribe to this video to my channel and i'm dropping bombs dropping gems whatever you need from me i got you whatever y'all want to talk about just let me know and shine let your light shine stay on your grind till it's your time new intro coming soon Beep.